Hey, the animations are back. Since I'm an animator on YouTube, it's basically my obligation to make a random thoughts video. I have a document that I use to write down my ideas. Under my random thoughts section, I have 27 items to cover, at least while writing the script. I think a lot. I have no idea how to organize this kind of video, so we're just going to put the thoughts back to back and dive right into this mess. I love cans of Chef Boyardee spaghetti and meatballs. No, I'm not sponsored. Well, if anyone from Chef Boyardee sees this, can you make a can of just meatballs? A can of Chef Boyardee meatballs would be amazing. Please make this happen. You will get lots of my money. It always seems that disinfectant companies like Germex or Lysol are always competing for the extra nines in their Kills 99% of germs label. When I was super young, I noticed one day that the packaging on some disinfectant wipes were changed. Before, it said kills 99% of all germs. Now it says kills 99.9% of all germs. This is the future! And over the course of a few months, other brands quickly caught on. So do companies need to prove that their wipes will kill an extra 0.9% of germs before they can put that on the label? When will we reach 99.99% of all germs? Or 99.999% of all germs? Or even 100%? Mm, but it's more fun to think about 99.9999999. So this next thought is just based off of assumptions I've made, so it could be completely inaccurate. To perceive the world around you, all of the parts of your brain need to interact with each other to form a complete thought or experience, I think. Haha, <laughs> get it? I think? However, your neurons can only transmit messages so quickly, so a larger brain would take longer to form a complete thought. This would mean that time would seem to go by slightly faster for an organism with such a large brain. So what would happen if an organism had a brain the size of a planet or even the sun? Would years for us be mere seconds for such a being? What would happen if we gave people from the past current technology related to, like, their skills and what they did for a career? What if we gave Galileo access to the massive observatories we have today? Or showing musicians like Beethoven or Bach MIDI software and synthesizers? You know, what would they think of modern music? or showing artists such as Vincent van Gogh drawing tablets, what kind of art or music would they make? But Vincent's primary art medium was paying so that's it for now. If you think randomly, tell us about it in the comments. Just kidding, don't waste your time in a YouTube comment section. You're better off at like r slash shower thoughts or something, I don't know. Bye.